all right folks welcome back today i just want to do a hopefully a quick video on plasti dip how how well my plasti dips held up over a year it's been just over a year maybe a year and three months or so since i put plasti dip on my mirrors on the front of my truck here and uh just kind of want to go over it here overall it's held up really well um Got a few spots up top here. Uh, see where it's broken through for whatever reason. I don't know why, especially when you compare it to the rest. Maybe I got a nick or got going, you know, through the woods. Maybe I got a nick or something. Uh, because the rest of it here looks fairly decent, other than being a little faded. Uh, now, if I use some type of uh, um, wash like i think uh what's it called uh, there's a plasti dip dip coat it's a dip coat that you can buy uh, from diy coating uh plastic diy diy coatings or whatever plastic dip. but they have the stuff called dip coat it may make this look better long term but really folks i'm gonna walk around here and show you some of the other spot but really in all honesty i mean this was a spray on job that i did myself just to convert this thing from silver to black um, to make it look different and the thing is i can peel it off right now if i wanted to you, you spray it on in layers you go back and look at my other videos spray it on in layers so when you get ready to take it off it'll come off real easily almost like latex gloves or something but it's held up okay you know if i had to do this and, and i and i may um just respray it here the next month or so but if i had to do this once a year what five just say five dollars a can um and say just say one can did one mirror i mean five dollars a mirror once a year i mean it's not that bad to customize it the way i want it uh, and of course when you first do it yeah it's it's a lot it's darker than this and this faded a little bit over the over the year but still it's held up uh, see the bottom part down here this is also classy dip but i don't know if i used dip coat if it would have made it hold up better and look better long term over the year or not and i say year about a year and three months all right so let's go around here to my front same thing got a spot here broke loose here spot there and you folks know if you go back and look at my other videos i am thinking i have toyed with the idea of rhino lining this vehicle this is the shape it was in when i bought it uh overall it's the shape i was in when i bought it the, the paint is just terrible i wanted i wanted this type of vehicle though that's all i could find at the time so it ran great just the paint was terrible on the hood and stuff the rest of the vehicle is fairly decent it's just the hood up front is just terrible uh, and that's why I plastic did this and you see it's faded here, but it's held up It's here, you know, other than these few spots and I don't know what caused these. I don't know if it was just a weak spot in the plastic dip when I sprayed it what, or, you know, rock chip that turned to this. Uh, again, just peel it right off. I don't know if you can tell on camera how thick this is, but peel it right off. And, uh, and then respray it if I wanted to. All right, let's go right here to this other mirror. Another mirror. Same thing, you got, you know, basically bugs, just hit the mirror and stuff, and it's faded. Not quite as bad on top here, a couple of small chips. But, you know, it's, it's done what I wanted it to do. From a distance, it looks even better, obviously. But, uh, you know, it's about time for me to peel this stuff off and repaint it again because I, I do like it i like the black and i like the fact that it's temporary and i say temporary is i can change it back without having to do anything major major modifications to it um and it protects the mirror you know really i mean you look at it, multiple multiple advantages of using this stuff it protects the paint if you had some paint under here that uh you know gloss type paint you wanted to do some off-roading or something you spray this stuff on here you know good thick layer of it you know protect the, the 
paint and uh, then peel it off when you get back. That's, you know, it might look funky or ugly, but it keeps you from having these rooster tails going down the side of your vehicle. And while I'm at it, what the heck, I'll just do a quick uh, rundown on this uh, coat. This is actually a vinyl wrap here I bought off of eBay. And this has held up really great, guys. I mean, I really am. It hasn't faded or anything. And uh, of course, I did a video on it also. And the other side looks just the same. I know people, some people are on the fence about the black door, almost looks like it's a, a replacement door. But, you know, I wanted something different. That's the whole reason why I painted my mirrors and did the door. I wanted something different and uh, without going crazy. And uh, this has held up really, really well. I wouldn't mind, in all honesty, I wouldn't mind wrapping my entire vehicle with this matte black finish. If I don't do the, um, if I don't do the Raptor liner, that's what I'm really wanting to do with this thing is Raptor line the entire vehicle like a, a dark gray, Raptor gray. All right, folks, well, leave me some feedback. Let me let me know in the comments what you think about Plastic Dip, if you've used it, what do you think about it. Also, let me know if you guys have wrapped your vehicles or just door panels or something, and what do you think about that. And uh, each each one of them has their advantages, and each one of them has their, their issues or disadvantages also. But uh, now the problem, real quick before I go, the problem with wrapping the door like this, or even, even Plastic Dip in the door, problem you run into here is the door is the same color as the rest of the car right so if i take this off five years from now 10 years or whatever just say five years from now it's not going to match it's going to look probably look like i wrecked the car the colors are going to be this is going to be more faded than this this is going to be nice and sharp that's the disadvantage to, to me but it protects the car if i don't wrap the line it uh this year this season then I'm probably going to move forward with taking this and putting it on that door, putting it on the front fender, and at least putting a line of demarcation here and wrap the, and, and <clears throat> covering that. Which, so I don't know, folks. We'll see. All right, folks. Again, like, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave me some feedback. Let me know about your uses of uh, auto wrap and plastic dip. Thank you.